Nasal irrigation is a simple, inexpensive procedure that has been used to treat sinus and nasal conditions for many years. The procedure involves flushing the nasal cavity with nasal solutions such as saline solution which promotes mucociliary clearance by moisturizing the nasal cavity and removing encrusted material. Saline solution is a mixture of salt and water. Normal saline solution contains 0.9% sodium chloride, salt. Nasal irrigation is used to treat for acute and chronic rhinosiositis, viral upper respiratory infection and allergic rhinitis, which are common disorders with significant patient and societal impact. Saline nasal irrigation is an adjunctive therapy and it should not be used instead medicine prescribed by physician. The method involves flushing the nasal cavity with sterile solution. Flushing the nasal cavity can be performed by positive pressure from bottle bulb syringes, negative pressure by sniffing solution into nasal cavity, by nebulizers, and gravity-based pressure using a vessel with a nasal spout such as neti pot. Saline is instilled in one nostril and allowed to drain out the other. A common nasal irrigation technique using a nasal cup, also known as or neti pot. Liquid saline is instilled in one nostril and allowed to drain out the other. A nasal cup also known as neti pot. And pre-packaged salt are commercially available at many pharmacies. 1. If you are using a pre-packaged salt, simply prepare the salt water as indicated on the packaging using lukewarm water and put 4 fluid ounces, 100 milliliters, in the nasal cup. 2. Lean over a sink so you are looking directly into the basin. 3. Rotate your head slightly and gently insert the spout of the nasal irrigation pot into the upper nostril, so that it forms a comfortable seal. Do not press the spout against the middle, or septum, of the nose. 4. Breathing through your mouth, raise the nasal irrigation pot so that the solution enters the upper nostril. The solution will soon drain from the lower nostril. 5. When the nasal pot is empty. Gently exhale through both nostrils to clear them of excess solution and mucus. Gently blow your nose into a tissue. 6. Repeat the procedure for the other nostril. The distribution of solution in nasal and sinus cavities is more exhaustive and fully comprehensive with positive pressure than with negative pressure, by sniffing, nebulization, or spray. To maximize the efficacy, large volume, no less than 100 milliliters, Low-pressure irrigation is preferable to low-volume high-pressure irrigation. If stinging or burning occur, try decreasing the salt content by half. You may also adjust the temperature of the water slightly. Do not use very hot or very cold water. Nasal irrigation can also be done in the shower. The exact mechanism of saline nasal irrigation action is not known. But it may enhance the nasal mucosa's ability to resist the effects of infectious agents, inflammatory mediators, and irritants. Nasal irrigation may improve function of the nasal mucosa through several reported physiological effects including the direct cleansing of irrigation, the removal of inflammatory mediators, and improved mucociliary function, demonstrated by increased ciliary beat frequency. Chronic rhinosiositis is the most common indication for saline nasal irrigation. The strongest of the studies reviewed reported that subjects with chronic sinus symptoms using 2% liquid saline nasal irrigation daily plus routine care, compared to routine care alone, reported a 64% improvement in overall symptom severity, and significant and clinically relevant improvement at 6 and 18 months. These results were corroborated for liquid, but not for nasal spray saline nasal irrigation. Nasal irrigation is effective adjunctive treatment for symptoms of chronic rhinosiositis. Evidence rating is A. Which means, consistent, good quality patient-oriented evidence. Nasal irrigation may be effective adjunctive treatment for symptoms of several other conditions based on limited trial evidence, irritant rhinitis congestion, allergic rhinitis, viral upper respiratory congestion, postoperative care for endoscopic sinus surgery. Evidence rating is B at this case. Which means inconsistent or limited quality patient-oriented evidence. Other indications such as, mild to moderate rhinitis of pregnancy, acute rhinosiositis, sinonasal sarcoid, Wagener's granulomatosis, have evidence C. Which means consensus, D 
disease-oriented evidence, usual practice, expert opinion, or case series. Saline irrigation appears safe. No adverse events have been reported in any study evaluating saline irrigation. Minor side effects are common, including a sense of discomfort and nervousness with the first use of liquid saline irrigation. Side effects noted by less than 10% of SNI users included self-limited effulness, stinging of the nasal mucosa and epistaxis, nosebleeds, rare. Optimal salinity of nasal irrigation is not known, 0.9% to 3% saline solutions have been most often used. Optimal pH and temperature are likewise not known. Each is likely patient-specific. Isotonic saline, 0.9%, and hypertonic saline, 1.5% to 3%, are the most common commercial preparations used for NI. Both are acidic, with pH values varying from 4.5 to 7. Solutions with NaCl concentrations higher than 3% are not recommended. Brand names, Libana Registered Trademark Symbol, Sterimar Registered Trademark Symbol, and Marima Registered Trademark Symbol.